Okay, the X marks the spot milestones are here with a modest amount of rewards for us. Uh, it is a very, very simple and straightforward uh, event here. It's really not going to be that hard. You get 20 total shards for the three X Force characters that we all want and care about, which is really a pittance in the long run of things, trying to get five stars on each of them for Doc Ox unlock. Uh, there's a bit of orange gear, some mutant uniques, and and yellow gear that's about it just some gear orbs and whatnot but it's not too bad so when we look at the scoring here i'm going to flip over to my calculator so this is my x-force calculator here uh, it's pretty straightforward let's just talk about the actual points per uh, item here so really quick, um, this is gonna kind of come down to how you play the game more than anything and what you're willing to sacrifice to make it easier on yourself. So if you do arena with five X-Force characters, you'll get an extra 15 points on top of the three for the attack. So the way I have this set up is the first line is just your X-Force attacks or attacks that include an X-Force character. Although right now I'm saying mine include five. You could alter this to three if that's all you have for some reason. Um, but if you don't uh, use all five, then you can adjust this however you like. This is just for projections. So let's say I do that twice a day. I sacrifice two attacks a day to run my X-Force into Black Order and get them murdered, right? So I do that twice a day for 30 points. I'll do my five attacks that are free every day for an extra 15 points, right? So over nine days, which is how long this event is, uh, that'll get us 270 and 135 points. For Blitz, we will get two points per X-Force character used in a win. Um, that's 10 points per win. We'll do that, say, eight times a day. Um, use your 25 charges, maybe even 50s if you want to make your life a little bit easier, uh, on your X-Force teams and just win. Just win, win, win. You don't have to score points. You can do this on Tier 1 or 2 and just auto everything in your entire Blitz roster. So that X4 stuff will get you 10 points per win. So that's say 80 points a day at eight wins a day or so. Maybe you do 10 a day, I don't know. You can adjust these numbers however you like. That's the point of the calculator. The projections will update because they are formulas based on these numbers here. The wins per Blitz is two points, which isn't a whole lot, but remember the Beast Blitz 2 is coming up. So I figure on average I'll win about 40 a day. I don't know, I'll probably be going for just top you know, one to 2% on that blitz. I don't think it'll be that hard. I think it'll be somewhere around like 16, 17 million points or so. And let's say you win 40 matches a day. Maybe you're a more prolific blitzer and you win 100 matches a day. Just adjust the number here and that'll update here. So if this is 100, do that. Um, you know, that's the idea. Just type it in and then it'll pop up here. All right, so the harder one is the war. So when I look at the calendar, if this event ends on August 12th, <laughs> um, you know, we're looking at 8.73 days left. That means, depending on your war zone, you should get about four wars in between now and then. So you'll get three this week, and the beginning of next week should be one. Um, I think if you're in the right zone, you may get a half of a war or something like that before it ends, or another war. I'm not really sure. But I'm just using this one separately here because it's not really per day like these first two sets up here. So X-Force uses in war. Say you use five X-Force characters, you'll get 25 points. You don't even have to win. You can lose or just, you know, only kill like one guy and die. That's fine. Um, but let's say you do that once per war with your X-Force team. That's worth 25 points. So let's say over four wars you do that, you get 100 points, right? But war wins and attacks are also worth five points. And let's say you get 10 attacks per war on, you know, five points each. That's 50 points per war just from doing your normal attacks and fighting. Maybe you get 12 attacks a war. Maybe your team never clears and you have the time to use all 12 attacks and you want to buy extras. I don't know. However you want to do this, uh, you can put whatever number you like here and it'll update because this is based on 4x, you know, whatever the number is here. Now, I'm going to throw this out there. I don't know if this works because I haven't had my war start yet. So we'll see in a, like an hour or two maybe. But I'm just going to ask to, I'm just going to throw something out there and speculate that if you were to take all five X-Force guys in there, go ahead into a fight, start it and cancel out and then go back in again with them, you might be able to get 25 points per an attack. I don't know if that works. I'd be curious to know if anybody's tried it, but I'm just speculating that maybe that works. So if you're in a alliance that's not very war focused 
maybe that's a strategy. Just take all five of your X-Force guys, throw them at a flight deck and just cancel out over and over and over again in a war that you guys know you're not going to win and you don't really care about. Just a thought, but I'm not going to do that. I can't do that with my alliance. That would be very bad. People would be very upset if I did that. So if you're not, if you're in a competitive alliance, you probably don't want to try that unless you want to do it maybe once in a non-competitive war or semi-competitive war. Just a thought. But uh, anyway, the idea is we're going to get our projected points here. Uh, this is daily points, although it's a little bit off because these war, uh, this is really per war, right? So it's not per day, um, but that's just the summation of it. And then this is meant to be the nine day projection with four day or four wars in it. So total, let's say 1500 points. Now, my current points is about 200 on my milestones because I've been blitzing and doing some arena and stuff here and there um, just because I need to do my points too. Um, but we know that the max over here is 1390, right? So we're looking at 1390 being the, the, the goal, right? To max out everything, get all these SBCs that'll help us get to tier 15 eventually, right? <laughs> so as you go, you can make a copy of the spreadsheet and just manually update your current point total. So if you're at 800 points, put 800 in here and it'll tell you you need 590 left, right? Um, that's all this is, is just a simple calculation to let you know where you're at. Um, I think really if you just do, you know, nine days for 1390, you're, you're going to need like 100 and what, 50 points a day or something like that to max out pretty easily um, or at least comfortably. Um, so <laughs> it's really not too bad. Uh, this is a fairly simple event. I'm actually kind of disappointed in it because I thought there would be another milestone to go along with it. You know, this is normally like we sort of normally see events with like two tiers, right? A simple milestone and then a really long grindy milestone. And this one's just kind of just in the, I don't know. It's not, it's not, it's not no effort, but it's low effort. And there's not not like huge rewards at the end. Uh, getting only 20 of these characters is pretty lame as far as the shards go. I'll say that. Um, unless there's like I, I'm I'm just disappointed that there's like an event orb to go with it or something like that to uh, potentially give us some more shards of these characters. But in any case, that's that's what we're looking at right now. Um, but go ahead and make a copy of this for yourself. Uh, you can put your numbers in here, your number of arena attacks. If you hate arena, just do five attacks with X-Force every day for free, and that makes your life a lot easier. Um, you know, that's that's the way to do it. And for me, I'm just going to lose down with um, other teams that I don't need because I don't need to name more right now. I'm just going to lose down to tier one or two, auto my X-Force, and you know, just move along. Uh, maybe some other teams just for the heck of it to get a couple of two pointers. But once you hit milestones on a character, you got seven stars. It's like, you don't really need it. So might as well just enjoy yourself, do some X-Force battles here and there and uh, have fun with it. And then just, you know, or just auto it and forget about it. So uh, fairly simple milestones. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you en enjoy the, uh, the data here. I'm sure we'll refer back to it in the future at some point when we have another milestone that's very similar. But what they, uh, one other thing I want to point out is they did remove the Elite 5 credit uh, image from this uh, X marks the spot photo. So I remember a bunch of people were criticizing them for that because it wasn't, there weren't any Elite 5 uh, credits in the uh, payout in the milestones, which is kind of funny. So they did fix that. But anyway, easy event, not too hard, not too shabby, but uh, we really need a lot more X-Force shards. So we'll see what happens in the future. Hopefully, hopefully there's some way to farm them before Doc Ock comes around. Because if not, I'll be really disappointed because the only one I really need is uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead and I'm not paying for Doc Ock. So we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, good luck, good night, and I'll see you later.